Hey, hello guys, welcome back to Lambda Test. In this video, we are going to learn what is browser context, how to open a new tab, and also we are going to learn how to open a new context. Let's get started now. Let's see the official documentation of browser context. So it provides a way to operate multiple independent browser sessions. For example, this is my uh, browser, right? So if you take this website as an example, if I go and log in with my credential, of course, I'll be able to log in. And here I can see like I'm able to see my account. I can edit my information, right? So if I copy the same URL and if I go to my new tab and if I open this, basically I will get the same information. So the session is going to carry forward to all the tabs doesn't matter how many tabs i open even if i open a new window let's say that we are going to open a new window and if i go to the same url as let's copy and paste over here then also of course i'm going to get the same session because the browser is basically like sharing the data across all the tabs and the browser but if i go to my incognito mode the new private window and if i go to that particular url of course the sessions the data won't be carried forward because this is a new session so in the new session of course we can't expect the previous credentials right so how this is useful in the sense like consider you have an application where you have to check your admin side works in a browser and at the same time you want to do something from the user side so admin will have some privilege like they will have like all the read write all the access whereas a user will have write only uh, view mode or the read mode access so i can open a browser with my admin access and then i can open a new browser with my user access where i can do the testing between both the users without like carry forwarding the sessions okay so that's the one example and of course you can have multiple examples as well for example consider a chat application where the bot is going to respond and here the user is going to uh, uh, type right so all those scenarios we can easily achieve with the help of playwright browser context so in simple terms it um, gives us independent browser sessions okay so of course it's like incognito mode okay so let me show you the real time example with the same example as i have shown here so first of all i'm going to copy the url not this one let's log out yeah so we're going to take this login url okay so here we have a package called browser context and a class called learn browser context and then we have the main method as usual so first of all we are going to invoke the playwright drivers so for that we have to say playwright dot clear i mean create and it's going to return me the playwright reference here okay so from the playwright reference i can say like chromium so if you want to launch the chromium browser you can go with the chromium or firefox or webkit we have discussed all those earlier in our earlier videos okay now of course i'm going to say the launch and then followed by within the launch options within the launch i'm going to give the launch options so you can use control one to do the import and then followed by set headless and false so that we can see the browser and of course it's going to return me the browser reference here now always i said that we have two options so from the browsers we can either go with the new page that means i will get only one browser at a time or else i can go with the new context so new page in the sense like it internally uses the new context but when i say new context and new page that means i'm trying to create multiple context here okay so this is going to return me the browser context here so let me name this as context now using the context i can go with like new page that means i'm going to give my page here so page in the sense like if you know selenium it's like your driver object the page object is basically your like to find the locators to do the interactions everything we use the page object here so here i can select page dot navigate and then followed by the url okay then of course i can log in right so here we can see like we have a label called email address so i can just copy and i can say like page dot get by label and the label value and then of course i guess use the function type to pass my credentials so let me copy and paste over here similarly i can also get this one so page dot get by label or by the label name and then type 
and the pass one two three dollar i guess let me check it quickly yeah, it's passed one two three dollar which is correct okay and then here we have this button right so if i go and inspect if you see this is not button actually this is input but we can treat this as a button how to do it is very simple here we can say like page dot get by role and then we have to pass the area role equal to this same like button so we'll say button and then forward actually the button and input tags are like responding in the same way okay and here i can say like uh new get by role option and of course use control one enter to do the import and then followed by set name and the name is going to be login right so if you notice something we didn't inspect any of the element we just uh write our code based on the label and followed by the button here okay so that's it we are pretty much done now what we can do is we can simply do some assertion so once i do the login if i go to my um this page so here i can say like i have this my account if i find this it's basically four that means of course it's a duplicate so i will go with this particular information so yeah if this is one of one of course of course you can write xpath and you can find it in the dom but since it's playwright we can do in this way as well okay so here i'm going to say like page dot locator and the locator is going to be like uh, sorry it should be text so get by text and the text is this one okay so this is our uh, edit uh, let me name it like my account okay and of course we are going to do some assertion so first of all we will import the playwright assertion and then here we'll just make it like static as usual and here i will import this particular function okay now here i can say like assert that and the locator is my account and we are expecting this to be visible right so is yes, visible is the function okay and lastly we'll just close the playwright dot close okay let me not use that now so that i can show you the demo okay so let's go and run this let's see what happens now So here the login is success and we can also see like edit your account information is there and if i go to my console so of course and here you can see like we don't have any error that means of course it's right right let me stop it and let go back to our code okay now i'm going to so we understood that we have launched our browser we have our correct credentials and we have logged into in our account right now if i open a new tab the login should persist in the new tab also right so let's see how to open a new tab so to open a new tab we have to use the uh, page dot context then from there i can say like new page or else i can directly also say like uh, context dot new page okay so both will do the same thing so let's go with the page dot context dot new page which is readable i guess okay so this new page in the sense like it's a new tab basically so it's going to open a new tab here okay so whenever you see the page that means it's a new tab basically okay so here we got this new tab and from the new tab i'm going to uh, navigate again so new tab dot navigate and i'm going to use the same account thing so this particular like once i logged in i'm able to see this account if i uh let's go to new private window if i go to this particular site you can see like it's basically going to redirect me to the login because it's a private session this is incognito mode or private mode and here we don't have the sessions but in this case since we are launching the new page that means new tab from the same context which already we have used so we are expecting it should be logged in and again i can assert this one so basically like i can see the same edit my account information label to be there okay so let's go and run this now let's see 
and it's asking me to save so you can just do check this that means before each and every execution uh, your files will be automatically saved so this is my first tab and login is success it's going to open a new page that is new tab and here you can see like we are able to get the same thing because the sessions are used by the same context okay so this thing you understood this looks very simple to you so i believe you are able to get it now the actual concept of browser context so now let's say that i have this browser right so this is your one browser now i want to open a new browser okay so for example i can say like uh let me use this space yeah so browser dot new context again i'm going to use the new context which is going to return me another context so let me name it like context 2 and from the context 2 i'm going to open a new page which is going to return me the new page reference let me name it like a user page something like this just to understand okay now from the user page i'm going to do the uh, navigation and i'm going to navigate to the account page okay that means i'm expecting this to be logged in but of course we know that this is a new context so it won't be logged in it will be like your um what we call that log it will redirect to the login page right so let's go and confirm that so here i'm just going to uh run this okay let's go and run watch carefully so what is the difference between context dot new page and browser context dot uh, new page so here you can select we are getting another window so this is basically like your tabs so within the same browser we are getting multiple tabs whereas this guy is basically your new window itself okay so that is the difference between new page and the new tab i mean here you can see like the new page from the same context we are using the new page of course then it will be same but when i say browser dot new context that means we are getting another window which is not having any of the previous data okay now you might ask me hey kaushik but you have launched both the context in the same browser like within the chromium can i do it for multiple browser of course you can do but understand the flow okay so here we have this playwright dot create which is going to give us the playwright drivers through which the communications happen so this will be like your one-time process you just create the playwright reference or instance only once and you close it after all your test now coming to the browser context we can open this as many as one so this browser context we have lot the remaining is the browser so this browser is going to refer to the chromium browser only but if i want to launch in multiple browsers i can do that still so here i can say like uh, instead of playwright.chromium i can say like playwright dot let's say firefox which is going to return me the firefox browser here okay so instead of like this this basically like your chromium instead of chromium this is going to be like your firefox and again the same thing from firefox we can open a new context from the context we can open a new page so new page in the sense like we can have like multiple new page where it's a tab within the same browser where it is going to carry forward the sessions the cookies all the data whereas new context in the sense like it will not carry forward any of your data it will just create a new session of your browser okay so that's it that's it for this video i hope you are able to understand the difference between new page new context and the um uh browser okay and one thing you have to remember mostly we can go with like browser dot new page which is correct but some things are very specific to context so in that scenario we have to use the new context we cannot directly go to the new page now for example within the browser context you can say like we can add the cookies we can clear the cookies we can clear the permissions and few other things are there so we if you want to do the routing from har you can do that you can set the timeout if you want to set the locations we have to go with the context this might not be available within the page okay so that's the only difference and here of course we can close each and every context each and every page so for example here i can say like a uh, new tab dot close so it will close my new tab and then 
of course you should close the context as well which is very recommended so once the context is done you can just close it okay and similarly of course you can close this you can close this and finally make sure you always close this or else it will waste your ram a lot okay so always close this one okay so just to show you that firefox we are able to launch successfully i'm just going to uh, bring a uh, firefox dot new oh, sorry firefox dot launch and we can use the same code so let me just copy and paste over here and from there i'm just going to bring the new page just to show you uh, let me name it like firefox page and i think this will show you the browser but with a blank but i guess you get will get the idea okay let's run this and check So this is my first browser and logged in i got a new context this is my another context with same chromium browser and here i don't think we have closed this one yeah and this one you can see the firefox launched and it closed very quickly okay so yeah that's it i hope you have cleared all your doubts when we have to use the context the page and the browser okay so tada bye bye see you in the next one